Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this month, I posted a video that Microsoft Edge may soon allow you to have two taskbars in Windows 10 and Windows 11, where um, there is a new option called Detach from Edge that allows you to separate the side panel from the main Edge window uh, in the browser and attach it to your desktop. Now, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And when I did post that video earlier this month, I actually didn't have the feature available. And just to let you know, um, if you are interested, that in both my Edge Canary browsers on both my devices, the new Detach from Edge became available in the overnight updates. And I thought just to do a quick hands-on, a quick walkthrough in case you're interested or in case you were unaware regarding this new Detach from Edge feature that Microsoft is currently testing in Edge Canary. Now, Detach from Edge is not available as yet in the stable version. And um, in Edge Canary, first of all, to make sure the feature um, is working, we need to head to the menu, the main menu, head to our settings and navigate to the sidebar preferences. And we need to make sure that always show sidebar is enabled. And um, if this isn't toggled on, then the feature will not be available. So you need to make sure always show sidebar is enabled. And then, as mentioned previously, if we head down to the bottom of the sidebar, you will see the new option and the new toggle called Detach from Edge. And if I toggle that on now and I click on that and we window the actual main browser, you can see now that um, the main browser window acts and works and is displayed independently of the actual sidebar, which has now become um, attached to the actual um, desktop, as I mentioned previously. Now, even if I close Microsoft Edge, here we can see the sidebar available to the right. And at this stage, it's only available to the right-hand side and looks very similar, as I have mentioned previously, to the original Charms bar that Microsoft made available in the original release of um, Windows 8, which rolled out in 2012. So it looks like with this new Detach from Edge feature that Microsoft has almost come full circle. Now, I actually think this could be a handy feature because it it's, doesn't require you to have the whole browser open. And we get access to all of the different uh, sidebar features from the convenience of our desktop. So there we have the new Bing chat. Just to go through a couple of these, we get our productivity tools. Um, Microsoft Office 365, Drop, and so on. And you can also customize the sidebar now directly from your actual desktop. So I think that's a, kind of what I would say a nice step in the right direction. And then if we relaunch um, Edge Canary, you will see now to uh, reattach the actual sidebar to the uh, browser, we need to head to the same toggle, which is now called Attach to Edge, which is now the X button. And if we click on that, we can see now that the sidebar has become reattached to the actual browser and everything is working like it was prior to detaching the actual sidebar from Edge. So that's just a quick walkthrough. And as mentioned, not available as yet in the stable version. But somehow, um, because I have posted previously that the actual Edge bar which has also been renamed to the search bar, seems to be coming and going and Microsoft doesn't know exactly what they are doing with that feature. And um, this may become the so-called new edge bar or sidebar as it's now known, which is called detach from edge. But like all these new um, um, features that do roll out to Edge Canary, I will obviously post and let you know accordingly as they do become available. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.